Normally, when you want to send data from one activity to another, you might use the intent.putExtra. So before we move on, let me explain what this application is doing. I have an application with two activities. The first activity just has an edit text name. The second is number and we have a button send. It sends this value and in the second activity, I display what is sent in the two text views. So if I run this program, we can see name, I can say Jack, number, I say 007. And if I say send, it opens the next activity and displays Jack and 007. So let's have a look at the code. So this is what you would normally do. You have your text views, your button, you get the text from your text views, you put the extra and send it to the second activity. In the second activity, you get the intent using the get string extra. But sometimes you don't want to send the values one by one. You just want to send an object so that in the next activity, you can use that object and get the values from the object. The library we're going to use is the parceler. Parcela. Parcela. <laughs> I'm not sure. Android parse labels. So this helps you sort out all the long boilerplate of trying to do this manually. To use Android Parcelor, I need to add this to my projects. I'm going to use Gradle. So I'll copy this and paste it my gradle the one with the app model app my sync now my intention is instead of using this i want to come here and use this class called user so this class user has a string name another string age has an empty constructor and a constructor that helps me initialize the variables it has its getters and setters and that's all so when we go to main activity i can say user user is equal to new user so i can pass in the name and number wait a minute did i say age here <laughs> let's refactor this to number yeah. Oh, that's a tip. In case you want to change something quickly, you can refactor instead of changing them one by one. So how I just did it quickly using refactor. That's an extra tip. That's not part of this lesson. So I'm passing in name and number. So instead of doing this, how do I now pass this object to the next activity? Because I'm going to use this class, I need this class to be parcelable. To do that, I'll say at parcel. You need to add at parcel at any class you intend to pass to another activity. So when we go to our main activity, now I have my user, I can come down create a bundle and I'll say bundle.putParcelable. This is the tag and then I'll say parcels.wrap user, which is this user. Intent.putExtras and then I'll pass in the bundle inside. Let's go over to activity 2. So now I am no longer going to be doing this. Instead, I will say user user is equal to dot get parcelable extra get parcelable extra. I'm going to put in user. I'll come and say user dot get name.
So what I'm going to say is, parcelables don't unwrap. To get the intent and get parcelable extra, get me user. Remember that when we were putting the extra, we gave it a tag of user. So when you wrap, you unwrap to get it. So you wrap when you're putting it and unwrap when you're getting it. So because I'm getting a user, I'll assign it to this variable. So I can come in here and say user.getName, user.getNumber. Let's verify that this works. No more. I put a number seven. Put send. Yep, it works. So this way I can use an object. That's it. But also make sure you add parcel to the class you want to wrap and unwrap. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing for more awesome lessons.